which is supposed to be this is white raven over here today's monday so happy magic monday to all of you guys how was your sewing which is how was your ritual do you get to communicate you had any great experiences that happened to you on the night of sewing please make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section of this video i would love to know if you have any type of special experience last night or throughout this past weekend that uh, we were so close to the spiritual world today is not a different day today is uh, november 1st so today and tomorrow is also at least to me very special days with my relationship with the dead uh, this is the day that i go to the cemetery today and tomorrow and we'll some flowers and some offerings for my loved ones and for people that I never knew. I like to go to the cemetery and attend to the oldest tombs, maybe leave some flowers, some candies. Pay attention to those tombs that you think nobody visited ever again. That's the uh, homework that I have for today and tomorrow and I truly, truly enjoy it. My ritual was absolutely beautiful, was excellent. I got to offer your petitions in my bonfire. And I want to thank you so much for trusting me with your petitions and with your secrets and your things. It was an honor, truly an honor, to be able to offer this in my Samhain ritual in your behalf. Today I have something that I think you're going to love. I'm super excited to share this with you. I know in my heart it's going to truly help you out and finalizing some negative things in your life. Ah, the shadow self. There is so much talk about the shadow self, right? There's just so many opinions about the shadow self. I don't like to complicate my life with ideas and things. And the more I think about my shadow selves, the more I come into the understanding from my perspective that my shadow self is nothing more than my animal survival instinct. That instinct that I have had since day one of my existence in this beautiful planet and throughout all of my reincarnations. Shadow self is that willingness and that thriving for survival, for keep existing, right? And now in this society and in this time of day that we live, we try to suppress all those things because if you're selfish, you're mean. If you want to annihilate somebody else, you're mean. I have a very different opinion when it comes to the shadow self, but at the same time, I feel like everything in our nature and everything in our world and in our universe has a light self, right? And it has a shadow self. And today we're going to be talking more about shadow working. And I'm going to share with you a recipe of an oil that is called death oil. Please make sure to check the description of this video down below because I'm going to leave the link of a wonderful book that will be extremely useful and you will appreciate if you like this type of workings. The recipe or the idea, because the recipe is going to be 100% completely your own, but the idea for this recipe came from that book, so I really suggest for you to check the description of the video because I'll be linking in there the book that inspired the video today. So it happens that on November 4, now 2021, we're going to have the dark of the moon. Okay, this is when the moon is going to show you her darkest face. There's going to be no moon in the sky, which is, and this is what we call, some people call it new moon, some people call it the dark of the moon. It is that threshold in which the moon is the void. There's, there's just the void. There's no moon. Where is the moon? There's no moon in our firmament. There's no moon in our sky. And this is the time in which we're going to utilize the energy of shadow deities, uh, shadow spirits, your shadow self, the shadow. So we call shadow works whenever we're doing a darker magic, but that doesn't necessarily mean which is that you're doing evil stuff. Sometimes we need to protect ourselves. Sometimes we need to defend ourselves. Sometimes we need to finalize things, to annihilate things, to kill things. Obviously not in a literal way, right? But we need to terminate a situation, an issue, a relationship, a bad habit, neighbors, 
whatever it is. And this is the time that we're going to utilize, which is to do these recipes that I have today for you. Again, on November 4, 2021, it's going to be a great time for you to go outside in your balcony, in your backyard, in a park or somewhere in a parking lot. Sometimes if you don't have backyard or a balcony, I do sometimes a lot of spell work and places parking lots, you know, when they're closed during the night, uh, I go to those parking lots and sometimes I do my rituals. Sometimes I do that a lot on the full moon. So this is the time that we're going to take to do these recipes and these things that I'm going to share with you today. On the dark of the moon and on shadow working, we are going to be recognizing the ending of a cycle, the ending ending of a life, the ending of something as it was. So this relates a lot to death. The name of the oil that we're going to be making today is going to be called death oil. This is not going to be an oil for you to kill someone, all right? This is an oil that is going to represent death and its use for you to end and terminate things that you don't want in your life. And that relates to absolutely everything from illnesses, bad habits, relationships, jobs, situations, bad neighbors, you name it, all right? Now, the first thing that I'm going to suggest for you, which is, is to have a container with water. And on this night, you're going to leave this water outside to absorb the energy that is going to be lingering in our surroundings. So you, the same way you have full moon water, you have rain water, you have storm water, and you name it, you also want to have dark of the moon water for your shadow works. Another thing that I suggest for you to have on that night is going to be a black candle. Now, the color is representation of what we're doing, so I strongly suggest for you to get a black candle. Now, after Halloween, a lot of stores have a lot of these candles on sale because for whatever reason, nobody wants black candles. But if you can get your hands into black candles, now is the time for you to get at least five, ten, whatever you think you're going to need throughout the year, and you want to prepare them during the dark of the moon. So on November 4, not only are you going to have your water, but you also want to have outside some black candles that can be charged with the energy of the shadow of the moon. Okay, which is for a recipe today, these are some of the things that I'm going to suggest for you to use for your own recipe. The base of your oil is going to be jojoba oil. Jojoba oil has a longer shelf time. I also, and this is something that I've shared with you guys before, like to use mineral oils. I know some witches don't like to use mineral oil, but I am a big fan of mineral oil and also witches jojoba oil. That is going to be which is the base of our oil. So let's put some jojoba oil in a little container. Leave some space because we're going to be adding more things into this oil. Okay, which is now I want you to think of what symbolizes death to you. The idea of this oil is to gather things that have absolutely no more life within them. You can choose a leaf that is completely dead. Now that we are in autumn, we're going to have a lot of leaves that are completely done with their life cycle and they are in the ground. So I'm going to grab a piece of this beautiful leaf and I'm going to put it inside my bottle. Most of my plants are also dying. So I chose a baby little branch of one of the plants that are already dead in my garden and that's something that represents death to me because there's absolutely no more life in this little branch. Another thing that I have decided to add into my oil is going to be a bone. Some time ago, I shared with you guys a video on opening, unboxing my raccoon bone. So this is one of my raccoon bones. I decided that I'm going to use the raccoon bones in my oils because bones symbolize also death. This is how it's looking so far, witches. 
If you're a little bit squirmish, this part may gross you out a little bit, so I'm warning you. Something that I have lots in my backyard is bugs. I have lots of dead bugs. If you're like me and you like to chill at night in your backyard and you like to chill at night in your deck, but you have a lot of bugs around, you probably have one of those purple lights, those sapping lights. Make sure that if you haven't cleaned them yet, go and check it out because you're going to have a whole collection of bugs in your sapping light and they're going to be extremely useful useful for magic. Um, yeah, this is why witches were so crazy because we like to collect a lot of that stuff. There is symbolism behind everything that you gather out there and there's also always a use for anything that you find outside that belongs to Mother Nature. So if you can get your hand on any type of bugs that you have outside, make sure you do. Gather them, put them in a bottle and keep them because they're going to be extremely useful for your magic. So I'm going to grab from here one of these buggies and we're going to put it in our oil. And this is how it's looking so far, which is... Now, the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys that I'm going to add into this oil is going to be cemetery ground dirt. This dirt does not belong to any particular tomb, but rather it belongs to the grounds of the cemetery. Make sure that if you collect cemetery dirt, which is, please make sure to leave an offering when you enter, ask permission, leave an offering and say thank you. It is a custom not to look back when you're leaving the cemetery and also when you get home, have some bath, cleansing bath, just in case. So I'm going to add some of this dirt into my little bottle. Now we are going to finish So this is how my oil looks which is It's absolutely beautiful and these oil witches is going to represent death and there you go, witches. I am going to be adding some aromas into this oil. This oil is not supposed to smell very good. But then again, it's entirely up to you. What is it that you relate to death? What is it that you relate to endings, to termination, to finishing? The idea is for you to make your oil, let it charge under the shadow of the moon, and you're going to use this oil to anoint the candles that you created that day. You can also sprinkle some of your water in your magical workings whenever you need to do a spell, a ritual, a hex to finalize and end something. This is all about endings. Now you have the idea on how to do these oils. Just because I love to share it with you, if you do not want to make this yourself, if you did not have the time to make this oil under the shadow of the moon, definitely going to have some of my samples for sale in my website. So they're going to be in there after the 4th of November because I'm going to be making a little batch for you guys. So if you guys want my own, by all means, go into my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com and get the one that I'm going to be making in there for you if you wish to. Otherwise, you got the idea, you got a type of an example of a recipe and you're more than welcome to do it yourself. Thank you so very much, witches, for all your support, all your love, everything you guys do for me. You guys inspire me in such a way. I am so delighted with your love and your presence in my life. You have no idea how much by having you here in front of me, I grow as a human. And I want to thank you, witches, from the bottom of my heart. If you have any question, email me at layerofthewitchayahoo.com. Remember, I do not work for people, witches. And visit my social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Remember, I'm always here for you, witches. You must stay very smart, witch, but of a bowl. You must stay so very wicked. Bye.